remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? The Russian trolls are back, and once again, they are trying to poison the political atmosphere of the United States ahead of this year's election. But this time, they are better disguised and more targeted, harder to identify and track. And they found an unlikely home, far away from Russia. In 2016, much of the trolling aimed at the U.S. election operated from an office block in St. Petersburg, Russia. A months-long CNN investigation has discovered that in this election cycle, at least part of the campaign has been outsourced to trolls in the West African nations of Ghana and Nigeria. They have focused almost exclusively on racial issues in the U.S., promoting black empowerment and often displaying anger toward white Americans. An example of a post or comment on social media from a Ghanaian or Nigerian Russian bought and paid for troll would go something like this. A troll may claim to be affiliated with an organization like Black Lives Matter and make a direct threat on a police officer's life or perhaps uh, some type of a Republican or a Donald Trump sympathizer, right? And then they would hashtag Beyonce. The goal, according to experts who follow Russian disinformation campaigns, is to inflame divisions among Americans and provoke social unrest. And it's working. I mean, it's working. But I don't trust CNN. Here's why. They have an agenda. They all have an agenda. How do I know that they don't have these same type of little houses and stuff that these people work from, these troll houses that people work from right here in the U.S. I'm sure the U.S. is doing the same thing that Russia is doing. Russia is just beating them to the punch right now. You did? I'm almost, not almost, I'm certain the U.S. has trolls that's infiltrating uh, popular Russian social media sites and spreading propaganda. So this is one of those situations that, you know, whereas what's good for the goose is good for the gander. We all have to just be a little more alert. I'm always suspicious of trolls, you know? I'm like, I'm, I'm always thinking like, they probably work for some type of company or something and they're, they're not just doing this on their own. Because sometimes, some people got way too much time on their hands. Some of these trolls, man, they work all day. They work around the clock. Some like, man, I mean, they post at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, a.m. You know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, p.m. You know, can't possibly be awake that, that much. So that means that other people are probably running those accounts also, you know, using those accounts. So they said that this, this one cell and this one troll cell or house in Ghana had like 20 people in the house. And all day long, they have like hundreds of accounts, hundreds of troll accounts. And all they do is try to create chaos among Americans. And, you know, Americans are pretty slow, in, in my opinion. Because Americans, that's all we do is, you know, we, we're preoccupied with, 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 with race. You know, like, I still say that we have, as people, all people, I believe all people have more commonalities than differences. But there are people out there that get paid to be hate mongers. And I do believe that the elite in America, this is how they keep us all under control. If they can keep us fighting over the one thing that none of us can control, then they can do what they do. We ain't got no energy. You know, you wake up and go to sleep, fighting race and shit. You ain't got no energy. You damn near don't have energy to do nothing else. The shit is draining. So it's working like a charm. Cold part is seeing people that are black in Africa, 
the motherland, working to cause harm to black people in America. You know, we had Africans who sold us out during slavery. And we got them right now in certain parts of the world still selling us out. It's cool that CNN went all the way to Ghana and Nigeria to investigate. But I just don't trust them. Who's to say that there aren't other troll sales around the world with other races doing the exact same thing? I don't trust them. I do believe that there are those cells out there that like they talked about, they show a video. I'll put a link in the description, let y'all check it out. But I don't trust them that black folks are the only ones selling out black folks. It's a shame that they're out there doing that. But I do believe that there's other groups out there that's doing the same thing, causing this division. Because you got to have somebody else to keep it going. You got to have another side. You got to have a yin to the yang, right? I got a question for y'all. What do you think would happen if integrity was your currency? I mean, what if integrity meant more to people than money did? Because, you know, money made people do strange stuff. Money have made people force people into slavery. Money have made people kill their own mama their own children. Money have made men get on their knees and suck it up. Money have made women go out in the streets and sell their bodies, sell their children's bodies. What do you think would happen if integrity was your currency? Something you could only possess and could not be sold. Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.